Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Now, the vehicle sitting behind me today is a 2007 Hummer H3 and despite the exterior being fairly unassuming, the inside of this thing is pretty gross. Okay, so taking a closer look at the outside and this Hummer has definitely seen better days as the paint is looking really grungy and dull and overall the entire exterior is just in desperate need of a good detail same with the engine bay as it looks like it hasn't been cleaned once in the last 13 years and i'm moving inside and this is where the real fun is as besides all the nasty stains in the carpets the seats are a mess and full of dirt and debris there's piles of grime all around the vehicle including up on the headliner which is covered in some pretty nasty stuff and what's hiding underneath the seats is even worse but just before we start on this hummer take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've got the bell on so you never miss out on a future video. All right, well, I am definitely looking forward to getting this Hummer looking fresh again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. All right, so as usual, the first step here is to get the entire vehicle rinsed off before moving to the wash stage. And I have to say, it's kind of nice seeing a bit of a unique vehicle in today this is the first Hummer I've had in and I'm looking forward to working on it today and seeing what kind of build quality it has. And I also wanted to mention that I was able to get the owner's reaction on this one. So make sure you stick around until the end to catch that as it's a good one. Moving to the back here and with the spare tire mounted directly to the tailgate it really doesn't leave much room to spray in behind it but i'm making sure to be as thorough as i can and i'm already noticing that this hummer has a ton of exterior plastic so there will be lots of places to apply 303 later especially on the spare tire cover so i'm definitely getting excited for how good this thing is going to look when i'm done Now as I work my way around the vehicle, I'm making sure to spray out all the crevices really well as with the design of this vehicle, it's got a lot more than the average vehicle does. And while I do this, I'm also making mental notes of where I'll need to use the detail brush later when the vehicle's all foamed up.
Now with the wheels nice and clean, I'll get some of this Adams bug remover sprayed on the front end here. As some of the bug guts were still pretty stuck on, then I'll let it sit for a few minutes to help loosen them up a bit. All right, with the Hummer all foamed up, I'll work my way around it, getting any remaining dirt lifted out of all the crevices with my Boar's Hair Detail Brush. And if you've been thinking about picking up a set of brushes, I would highly recommend these Detail Factory ones as they are the best that I've ever used. And they also come in an ultra soft version. So if you're interested, the link is in the description for you. All right, it's time now to tackle this dirty engine bay. And the first step here after disconnecting the battery is to get the entire engine bay covered in some degreaser. And then I'll let that sit for a minute or two to give it a chance to break down the dirt and gunk. And once it has, I'll go over all the flat surfaces with my wheel brush and basically use this anywhere that it will fit. Then I'll use my smaller Speedmaster brush to get down into all the tighter areas. And then I'll also go around with a detail brush to get anywhere that I haven't gotten with the other two brushes. Now with everything clean, I'll go ahead and simply rinse down the entire engine bay. And it's important to note that you don't want to let your degreaser dry, so you definitely have to work quick. And if anyone is wondering why I do this after I've washed the vehicle, it's because if I did it first, a little bit of water would end up making its way underneath the hood when I pressure wash. So this way the engine bay stays perfect when I'm done, and it just takes a couple seconds to dry any water drips off the paint. Then with everything rinsed, I'll just quickly use my leaf blower to get rid of the majority of the water and then simply finish drying things with a microfiber towel. Now with everything dry, I'm using some CarPro Pearl this time for all the black plastics and hoses to dress them and really make this engine bay pop. Moving to these dirty floor mats, and because these mats had really plush carpet, I felt I needed to use a little bit more solution than usual to make sure all the fibers were covered. And after agitating with the drill brush, the pressure washer will make really quick work of them. And to answer a question that I know some of you have, yes, I do extract the remaining water out of these later on when I've got the Bissell out.
Now on the rear mat here, you can see there was something stuck on the carpet and it turns out it was a Werther's original candy and was quite literally glued to the carpet. So my plan is that if it doesn't come off with the pressure washer, I'll wait until I've got the steamer out a little later and I'll blast it off with steam then. Okay, moving to the interior now, and with the seats and center console removed, I'll quickly get all the garbage, personal items, and loose change removed before I start unpacking. Now the section underneath and beside the driver's seat here was definitely the dirtiest area, but judging by the number of Cheerios in here, I'd have to guess that the owner has a few young kids as well, which definitely offers a bit of an explanation for the blue carpet stain and the mess on the headliner. Now with the vehicle clean enough to sit in, I'll work my way around all the plastic trim using a detail brush for all the hard to reach areas and tight crevices to gently lift any dust or dirt out and straight into the vacuum.
moving to the upper portion of the seat and I was definitely a little surprised to see the pale yellow stain turn a nice fluorescent green color. So seeing that, and I have to guess that this was ink from a highlighter just based on how bright it is, but no matter where it was from, it's just as satisfying getting to see it all get sucked away by the extractor. Now moving down to the carpet, and like I mentioned earlier, this Hummer has some of the nicest carpet that I've seen in a vehicle before. The only carpet that was nicer was in the Cadillac Escalade and the BMW 3 Series that I did last year. So because of that, I do need to use a little bit more solution, but it makes extracting much easier as I don't need to make near as many passes to get all the solution back out, which is really nice. All right, now after making several passes over the stain, it's still not quite gone. So I'm applying more solution and I'm also spraying on some of my Folex spot remover and then really hitting it with the drill brush. And unfortunately, it's looking like there's going to be a tiny bit of it that won't come out. So definitely not what I was hoping for here, but after making between 40 to 50 passes over it and seeing no improvement, 
I have to reluctantly resign myself to it not being perfect. Here's all the nasty, colorful water pulled from this Hummer. Gross. Now with the steamer all warmed up, it's time to tackle this giant wad of gum in the back here. And blasting it with steam gets it melted off fairly quickly to the point where it's hot enough I can just wipe off whatever's remaining. And then as you can imagine, it was also all over the seat. So I used the same method there and just hit it with steam and then blot dry with a microfiber towel. Now not something I film very often, but for the super grimy cup holder insert, I figured I would again show you how well the steamer works. So using the soft brush attachment and some all-purpose cleaner, takes about a minute of steaming, taking the nozzle off to get any stubborn grime off, and then quickly getting all the crud rinsed off, it honestly looks brand new again. Alright, so moving to the headliner now, and once again, using the steamer with a towel wrapped around the triangle brush attachment, it's able to quickly take care of these stains. 
And now if you've watched some of my other videos, you may have seen me using the steamer or even just some APC and a detail brush for headliners. So having a steamer definitely isn't necessary, but it does make cleaning things a lot easier. So if you're interested, the link to the McCulloch MC1375 steamer that I use is in the description for you. Okay, now with the Hummer waxed, now it's time to dress and UV protect all the exterior plastic and vinyl. And to do that, I'm using 303's Aerospace Protectant, which is going to leave everything looking fresh and really make it pop. Alright, the last step here is to get the tires dressed with some Car Pro Pearl, and then I'll simply just wipe any overspray off the wheels.
Wow. Awesome. Glad I can like see it. myself in it. It looks like a mirror. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty good. It has never been this pristine since we <laughs> bought it off the showroom floor. All right on. Wow. 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 Look around. It looks like a totally different vehicle. <laughs> Have a look inside, that's where most of the work was. So. Yeah, there was a ton of work there. Oh my goodness, it looks brand new. Wow. All the stains are gone. Huge difference. It looks like it's a new vehicle. So, I am so impressed. Good. You do exceptional work. Thank you. Well, I'll give you that. Recommend you to anyone. So <laughs> thoroughly good. impressed. Well, good. thank you. Yeah, you bet. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, see ya. All right, guys, and a little over 12 very long hours later, I am exhausted, but the Hummer is completely transformed and looking incredible. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome transformations like this. Enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.